हेलो लिस्निंग फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार श्रोता मित्रों वी आर ग्लैड दैट यू जॉइन अस टुडे हम आनंदित हैं कि आप हमारे साथ आज उपस्थित हैं इफ यू आर लिस्निंग टू दिस ब्रॉडकास्ट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम यदि आप इस प्रसारण को पहली बार सुन रहे हैं वी आर अबाउट हाफ वे थ्रू ए सीरीज ऑफ मैसेजेस ऑन द फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ पीटर तो हम पत्रस की पहली पत्री पर आधारित संदेश श्रृंखला के लगभग मध्य तक पहुंच चुके हैं Today Peter is going to tell us the three ways we need to imitate our blesser. आज पत्रस हमें वो तीन तरीके बताने वाला है जिनके द्वारा हमें अपने आशीषकर्ता का अनुकरण करने की आवश्यकता है. I will list them for you. मैं आपके लिए इनकी सूची बनाता हूं. First, पहला Don't take revenge when you are wronged. जब आपके साथ अन्याय हो तो प्रतिशोध ना लीजिए. Second, दूसरा Wait patiently for God's justice when man's justice is lacking. जब मनुष्य का न्याय न मिल रहा हो तो धैर्य के साथ परमेश्वर के न्याय की प्रतीक्षा कीजिए Third, तीसरा Never deny the truth. सत्य का कभी इनकार न कीजिए Let's look first at not taking revenge when we are wrong. आइए सबसे पहले हमारे साथ अन्याय होते हुए भी बदला न लेने वाली बात पर गौर करें I want to tell you something very important so listen carefully. मैं आपको कुछ बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण बात बताना चाहता हूं इसलिए कृपया बहुत ध्यानपूर्वक सुनिए. I want to tell you the difference between justice and revenge. मैं आपको न्याय और प्रतिशोध में फर्क बताना चाहता हूं. A lot of people confuse these two. बहुत सारे लोग इन दोनों बातों को उलझा देते हैं. The two are not the same. ये दोनों एक सी बातें नहीं हैं. Let me define revenge and you will understand justice. मैं प्रतिशोध की व्याख्या करता हूं और आप न्याय को समझ जाएंगे. Revenge can only occur when you have the upper hand. प्रतिशोध तभी लिया जा सकता है जब आप मजबूत स्थिति में हैं. Revenge can only happen when you have the opportunity to hurt somebody who has hurt you. प्रतिशोध तभी हो सकता है जब आपके पास उस व्यक्ति को चोट पहुंचाने का मौका हो जिसने आपको नुकसान पहुंचाया है. And if you don't hurt them, that is not revenge. और यदि आप उन्हें नुकसान नहीं पहुंचा पाते तो ये प्रतिशोध नहीं है. Revenge is when you do hurt somebody who has hurt you as soon as you have the chance. प्रतिशोध वो है कि जब आपको मौका मिलते ही उस व्यक्ति को नुकसान पहुंचाने का जिसने आपको नुकसान पहुंचाया हो और आप उसे नुकसान पहुंचा दे तो ये है प्रतिशोध. Justice, on the other hand, is seeking fairness. Whether through biblical or through legal means. दूसरी तरफ न्याय है निष्पक्षता की खोज करना चाहे ये बाइबल के द्वारा हो या कानूनी तरीकों से। I will get to that again later on. मैं इस पर बाद में आऊँगा। But for now, what you need to know is that the two are not the same. परंतु अभी आपको ये जानने की आवश्यकता है कि ये दोनों एक समान नहीं हैं। The apostle Peter says to follow the model of Christ. प्रेरित पत्रस कहता है कि मसीह के उदाहरण पर चलना is whenever you get the upper hand to hurt someone who hurt you you don't do it ye hai ki jab aap aapko nuksan pahunchane wale ko nuksan pahunchane ki sthiti mein hai aur aap aisa nahi karte to ye hai masih ke udharan par chalna however i also want to tell you that to refrain from taking revenge against those who wrong us is neither natural nor easy iske alawa main aapko ye bhi batana chahta hu ki hamare sath anyay karne walon se badla lene se khud ko rokna na hi swabhavik hai aur na hi aasan hai some people think that it was easy for jesus kuch log sochte hain ki yeshu ke liye ye aasan tha no it wasn't nahi aisa nahi tha once before he died for us hamare liye marne se pehle ek baar he cried out to the father as if to say wo pita ke samne pukara jaise keh raha ho If there is another way of doing this please tell me. यदि ये करने का कोई और तरीका हो तो कृपया मुझे बता दे. If there is some other way other than this cross please tell me about it right now. यदि इस क्रूस के बजाय कोई और तरीका हो तो कृपया मुझे अभी उस बारे में बता. Why did Jesus suffer? यीशु ने दुख क्यों उठाया? Why did he allow himself to get spat upon? क्यों उसने खुद पर थुकवाया? Why did he allow himself to get slapped across the face? क्यों उसने अपने चेहरे पर थप्पड़ पड़ने दिए? Why did he allow himself to be lashed with a whip that tore his skin apart? क्यों उसने अपने शरीर पर उन कोड़ों की मार खाई जिनसे उसकी चमड़ी को उधेड़ डाला? Why was he made to carry a heavy wooden cross and then get nailed on it? क्यों उसे लकड़ी की वो भारी क्रूस उठवाई गई और फिर उसे उस पर कीलों से ठोक दिया गया? The Bible said that Jesus never did anything wrong. Bible कहती है कि यीशु ने कभी कोई गलती नहीं की. 
Jesus never sinned. Yeshu ne kabhi paap nahi kiya. Jesus is the only human being that was perfect in thought. Yeshu hi keval wo ek matr insaan tha jo apne vicharon mein bhi shuddh tha. Perfect in his actions. Apne karyon mein siddh. Perfect in his words. Apne vachanon mein siddh. He could have called upon the father's power. Wo pita se uski samarth mang sakta tha. And a legion of angels would have wiped out everyone in sight on the day of his trial in Jerusalem. Aur swargdooton ki sena ne Jerusalem mein uski peshi ke din samne aane wale har vyakti ko mita dala hota. But he didn't. Lekin usne aisa nahi kiya. Why? Kyun? Peter said it was because if Jesus took revenge on those who wanted to persecute him. Patras kehta hai ki yadi Yeshu unse pratishodh le leta jo usko maarna chahte the. He would not have been able to pay for the wages of your sin and mine. तो वो आपके और मेरे पापों की कीमत नहीं चुका पाता. Don't forget that Peter was there during that time. मत भूलिए कि उस समय पत्रस वहीं पर था. Peter denied Christ three times on that day. उस दिन पत्रस ने तीन बार यीशु का इनकार किया. And in First Peter five one. और पहला पत्रस पांच अध्याय के एक पद में. He said that he was an eye witness to the crucifixion. वो कहता है कि वो क्रूस का चश्मदीद गवाह है. Do you remember from our past messages that Peter did not want anything to do with the crucifixion? क्या हमारे पिछले संदेशों में से आपको याद है कि पत्रस क्रूस की घटना के बारे में कुछ नहीं करना चाहता था? Early on, when Jesus brought up the whole subject of the cross one day, कुछ समय पहले जब एक दिन यीशु क्रूस के विषय पर बात कर रहा था. Peter said, "God forbid that this happens to you, Lord." पत्रस ने कहा, "परमेश्वर न करे कि प्रभु तेरे साथ ऐसा हो." And Jesus replied, "Peter, you are the mouthpiece of Satan." और यीशु ने उत्तर दिया, "पत्रस तू शैतान की ओर से बोल रहा है." Then in the Garden of Gethsemane, when the soldiers came to arrest Jesus, फिर गदसमनी बाग में जब सैनिक यीशु को गिरफ्तार करने आए. Peter pulled out his sword and whacked off the ear of the soldier. पत्रस ने अपनी तलवार निकाली और एक सैनिक का कान उड़ा दिया. And Jesus said, No, 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 Peter, this is not the way. और यीशु ने कहा, नहीं, 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 पत्रस, इस तरह से नहीं. Peter, put your sword away. This is not the way of my father. पत्रस अपनी तलवार फेंक दे क्योंकि ये मेरे पिता का तरीका नहीं है. There is always a contrast between how the people of the world and their master Satan see things. संसार के लोगों और उनके स्वामी शैतान के नजरिए में हमेशा अंतर है. And the way God and His people see things. परमेश्वर और उसके लोगों के नजरिए से. There has to be. ये होना ही है. I know this can be confusing today. मैं जानता हूँ कि आज ये उलझन में डालने वाला हो सकता है. Because many of God's people see things the same way as the unbelievers do. क्योंकि परमेश्वर के बहुत सारे लोग भी आज वही नजरिया रखते हैं जो गैर विश्वासी रखते हैं. The people of the world see violence as the answer. संसार के लोग हिंसा को उत्तर मानते हैं. God sees love as the answer. परमेश्वर प्रेम को उत्तर मानता है. People of the world see revenge as the way to justice. लोग वैसे ही देखते हैं जैसे संसार प्रतिशोध को न्याय का रास्ता मानता है. But God's people see vengeance to be God's and not theirs. परंतु परमेश्वर के लोग देखते हैं कि बदला लेना परमेश्वर का काम है, उनका नहीं. The people of the world say we must get even. संसार के लोग कहते हैं कि हमें हिसाब बराबर करना चाहिए. God's people say let God take care of it. He does a much better job. परमेश्वर के लोग कहते हैं परमेश्वर पर छोड़ दो, वो ये काम करने में कहीं अच्छा है. The people of the world say. Get him before he gets you. संसार के लोग कहते हैं इससे पहले कि दूसरा तुम्हें दबोच ले हम उसे दबोच लें. But like Jesus, the people of God will say, I will entrust myself to Him who judges justly. परंतु परमेश्वर के लोग यीशु की तरह कहते हैं मैं उस पर भरोसा रखूंगा जो निष्पक्षता से न्याय करता है. Jesus' example is not to take revenge. यीशु का उदाहरण बदला लेना नहीं है. Secondly, Jesus' example is waiting patiently for God's justice. दूसरा यीशु का उदाहरण है धैर्य के साथ परमेश्वर के न्याय की प्रतीक्षा करना. When man's justice fails, God's justice will not. मनुष्य का न्याय असफल होता है परमेश्वर का न्याय असफल नहीं होगा. And we are to wait patiently for it. और हमें धैर्य के साथ इसकी प्रतीक्षा करनी है. Nobody on the face of the earth could ever say that they suffered more unjustly or unfairly than Jesus. इस धरती पर कोई भी ऐसा नहीं है जो कह सके कि उन्होंने यीशु से अधिक अन्याय और दुख सहा है. The best among us is subject to bias and self-serving attitude. हम में से सबसे अच्छा व्यक्ति भी पक्षपात और अपनी लालसा का दोषी है. 
the greatest among us is subject to self deception and wrong motives hum mein sabse shreshth vyakti bhi khud ko chalne aur galat uddeshya rakhne ka doshi hai so if and when we suffer injustice or we get badly treated isliye jab aur yadi hum anyay sehte ya bura vyavhar sehte hain we cannot say that we are 100% pure to hum ye nahi keh sakte ki hum 100% shuddh hain but jesus could parantu yeshu keh sakta tha he is the only one that could keval wahi hai jo aisa keh sakta hai in first peter 2:22 pehla patras 2 adhyay ka 22 pad it says that jesus was sinless ye kehta hai ki yeshu paap rahit tha do you know what that means kya aap jante hain ki iska kya arth hai it means that none of us could ever measure up to his righteous standards iska arth hai ki hum mein se kabhi bhi koi uski dharmikta ke star ko maap nahi sakta for if he wasn't completely pure he could not be our savior kyunki yadi wo bilkul shuddh nahi hota to wo hamara uddhar karta nahi ho sakta tha because the father demanded to have a perfect sacrifice for the forgiveness of sin kyunki pita ne manushya ke paap ki kshama ke liye shreshth balidan chaha he had to be pure wo shuddh hona chahiye tha there could be no greater injustice that has ever taken place or will ever take place like the injustice that took place on the day we call good friday us anyay se bada anyay kabhi nahi hua aur na hi kabhi hoga jo us din hua jise hum good friday kehte hain but does that mean that god condones injustice parantu kya iska ye matlab hai ki parmeshwar anyay ko andekha kar deta hai not at all bilkul nahi does it mean that these people get away with it kya iska ye arth hai ki ye log ye sab karke bhi bach nikalte hain not at all bilkul nahi but when man's justice fails parantu jab manushya ka nyaya safal hota hai jesus waited patiently for god's justice yeshu ne dhairya ke sath parmeshwar ke nyaya ki pratiksha ki and what justice it was aur ye kya nyaya tha early on sunday morning ravivar pratakal god raised jesus up never to die again parmeshwar ne yeshu ko phir kabhi na marne ke liye jeevit kar diya thus assuring all who will come to him and trust him isse un sab ko aashwasan dete hue jo uske paas aate aur us par vishwas karte hain thus assuring all who will live with him and walk with him isse un sab ko nishchit karte hue jo uske saath rahenge aur uske saath chalenge thus assuring all who will follow him of their own resurrection through him isse un sab ko nishchit karte hue jo uske dwara apne swayam ke punaruthan se uske piche chalenge but that's not all parantu itna hi nahi hai the bible says that the day is coming when the one who spat upon will sit on the throne and judge the world bible kehti hai ki wo din aa raha hai jab wo jis par thuka gaya sihasan par baithkar sansar ka nyay karega the one who was insulted and slapped across the face will be the supreme judge wo jiska apmaan kiya gaya aur jiske muh par thappad mare gaye wo sabse bada nyayi hoga the one who hung helplessly on the cross will stand upon the crest of the earth wo jo ashaye cross par latka dharti ki choti par khada hoga the one who was dragged before pontius pilate and herod will execute justice and judgment upon the earth wo jise pilatus aur herodias ke samne ghasita gaya tha wo dharti par insaaf aur nyay ko poorn karega the one who was stabbed will be seen robed in splendor wo jise god diya gaya vaibhav se saja hua dikhai dega and those who pierced him will be standing in shame aur wo jinhone use bheda wo lajjit khade honge The one who was the lamb of God will be the lion of Judah. Wo jo parmeshwar ka memna tha Yehuda ka seh hoga. The one who was sacrificed will send his enemies to the outer darkness where there is trembling and gnashing of teeth. Wo jo balidan kiya gaya apne dushmanon ko us gehre andhkar mein bhejega jahan santap aur daanton ka peesna hoga. How long will they be punished? Kitni der tak unhe dand diya jayega? not just for a year or two ek ya do saalon ke liye nahi but forever parantu anant kaal ke liye my listening friends mere shrota mitro do you see the importance of waiting for god's justice kya aap parmeshwar ke nyay ki pratiksha ke mahatva ko samajhte hain be patient for god's justice parmeshwar ke nyay ke liye dhairya rakhein it will take place ye avashya hoga 
God is a God of justice and we must pursue justice when we can. परमेश्वर न्याय का परमेश्वर है और हमें अवश्य न्याय की खोज करनी चाहिए जब भी हम ऐसा कर सकें but if you cannot get justice here on the earth but, don't despair parantu yadi aap yahan dharti par nyay nahi pa sakte to nirash na hoiye there is a day that is coming when justice will roll like a river ek din aa raha hai jab nyay nadi ki tarah bahega don't be anxious to take revenge pratishodh ki ichcha na kijiye wait patiently for god's justice dhairya se parmeshwar ke nyay ki pratiksha kijiye for this is jesus's example kyunki yahi yeshu ka udharan hai Thirdly, never deny the truth. तीसरा सत्य का कभी इनकार न कीजिए Many people say, बहुत लोग कहते हैं Look, we know what the truth is, but we don't have to push the point of view. देखिए हम जानते हैं कि सत्य क्या है परंतु हमें अपनी सोच को साबित करने की जरूरत नहीं है We don't have to harp at it. हमें इसे दोहराते रहने की आवश्यकता नहीं है and we don't have to make an issue out of it with the people of the world aur hame sansar ke logon ke sath is par masla khada karne ki avashyakta nahi hai just let's keep quiet about it bas is bare mein chup hi raho my listening friends that is not the model of jesus mere shrota mitro ye yeshu ka adarsh nahi hai that's not the way of christ ye yeshu ki karya riti nahi hai that is not the example of christ ye yeshu ka udharan nahi hai denying the truth in order to please people or to get along in life is not christ's way logon ko khush karne ke liye ya jeevan chalane ke liye satya ka inkar karna yeshu ki karya riti nahi hai speaking the truth in love is christ's way prem mein satya bolna masi ka tarika hai jesus's example leads us to never deny the truth yeshu ka udharan hamari agwai karta hai ki hum kabhi satya ka inkar na kare pontius pilate said to jesus are you the king of the jews pilatus ne yeshu se kaha kya tu yahudiyon ka raja hai jesus never compromised yeshu ne bilkul samjhota nahi kiya he answered you said it usne uttar diya tumne khud hi keh diya pontius pilate asked pilatus ne pucha Do you know that I have power to set you free and power to kill you? Kya tum jante ho ki tumhe chhod dene ya maar dalne ki shakti mere paas hai? Jesus responded that is not true. Yeshu ne uttar diya ye satya nahi hai. You have no power unless you have been given it. Tumhare paas koi shakti nahi hai jab tak ki ye tumhe di nahi gayi. Why didn't Jesus back down? Yeshu kyun piche nahi hata? He could have saved himself a whole lot of trouble. Wo khud ko bahut badi samasya se bacha sakta tha. Many of us compromise for far less consequences than life itself. Hum mein se bahut sare log un baaton ke liye samjhauta kar lete hain jinke parinam jaan se kahin kam hote hain. My listening friends, mere shrota mitro, there is only one way for sin to be dealt with. Paap se nipatne ka keval ek hi tarika hai. No matter how big or how small your sin may be. Koi matlab nahi ki aapka paap kitna bada ya kitna chhota hai. The only way to deal with sin is with true repentance and a change of heart. Paap se nipatne ka ek matra tarika hai sachcha paschataap aur hriday ka badlav. There is only one way for each of us to receive healing from the devastation of sin. Hum mein se pratyek ke liye paap ke vinash se changai prapt karne ka ek matra tarika hai. and that is through the cross of jesus aur wo hai yeshu ke cross ke dwara there is only one way for everyone to be healed from the penalty and the punishment of sin har ek ke liye paap ke jurmane aur dand se changai paane ka ek hi tarika hai and that is through the wounds of jesus aur wo hai yeshu ke ghavon ke dwara there is only one way for healing from the ravages of addiction and temptation pariksha aur nashon ke vinashkari prabhavon se changai paane ka ek hi tarika hai and that is through the wounds of jesus aur wo hai yeshu ke ghavon ke dwara listen to what peter said suniye patras kya kehta hai for by his wounds we are healed kyunki uske ghavon se hame changai mili my listening friends i want to tell you something of uttermost importance mere shrota mitro main aapko sabse mahatvapurna baat batana chahta hu ever since that day long ago when i accepted jesus as my savior and lord bahut samay pehle us din se lekar jab maine yeshu ko apna uddhar karta aur prabhu swikar kiya i have never ever 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 got sick will i ever be sick again main kabhi 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 bhi bimar nahi hua aur na hi aage kabhi bimar hounga oh my body might get sick ha mera sharir bimar ho sakta hai but that's not me parantu ye main nahi hu That's just the tent in which I'm living in. ये केवल एक तंबू है जिसमें मैं रह रहा हूँ 
The Bible said that this tent eventually is going to be destroyed and is going to be buried. Bible कहती है कि अंततः इस तंबू को नाश होना है और दफन होना है. But I will never get sick. परंतु मैं कभी बीमार नहीं होऊंगा. Because that day my soul became whole and my life became whole. क्योंकि उस दिन मेरा आत्मा और मेरा जीवन संपूर्ण होगा. I could never get sick again because Jesus' wounds have healed my soul. मैं दोबारा कभी बीमार नहीं होऊंगा क्योंकि यीशु के घावों ने मेरे आत्मा को चंगा कर दिया है. No one can ever be healed from the disease. and the sickness of sin except through the wounds of jesus koi bhi kabhi paap ki bimari aur rog se yeshu ke ghavon ke siwaye kahin se changai prapt nahi kar sakta no one can ever be delivered from the consequences of sin which is eternal hell except through the wounds of jesus koi bhi paap ke parinamon se jo ke anant kal ka nark hai yeshu ke ghavon ke bajaye kahin se chutkara nahi pa sakta peter is saying that when you come to jesus पत्रस कह रहा है कि जब आप यीशु मसीह के पास आते हैं नॉट ओनली विल यू बी हील्ड एंड मेड होल तो न केवल आप चंगे कर संपूर्ण किए जाते हैं बट ही आल्सो बिकम योर शेपर्ड परंतु वो आपका चरवाहा भी बन जाता है ही विल बी द बिशप ऑफ योर सोल वो आपके आत्मा का अगुआ बन जाएगा ही विल ओवरसी यू वो आपकी देखरेख करेगा ही विल सुपरवाइज यू वो आपकी अगुवाई करेगा व्हाई क्यों because he cares deeply for you and your soul kyunki wo aapki aur aapke aatma ki gehrai se chinta karta hai he will nurture you upon his word wo apne vachan se aapka poshan karega he will empower you by his holy spirit wo apne pavitra aatma ke dwara aapko samarthi karega he will feed your soul and guide you to the still waters wo aapke aatma ka poshan karega aur aapko uttam jal tak le jayega are you ready to come to him kya aap uske paas aane ke liye taiyar hain and receive the healing that only he can give you aur wo changai prapt karne ko taiyar hai jo keval wo hi aapko de sakta hai it is my prayer that you would say yes lord jesus meri prarthna hai ki aap kahe prabhu yeshu ha until next time i wish you god's richest blessing agle samay tak main aapke liye parmeshwar ki uttam aashish ki kamna karta hu